Hi everybody, it's your guy here, The Unknown. And today I want us to look at something very important. And I also believe we all had a beautiful week and one of the most profitable weeks in this year, okay? Actually, ever since this year started, things have just been amazing, okay? So guys, uh, let's look at something important. On this channel, we only focus on two setups, okay? We have only two setups, okay? Okay, we only have two setups, okay? These are, let me just put them here. These are number one. These are uh, day two. Day two, con day two continuations, which are the most easiest. I'm going to show you three scenarios in this case, okay? And we also have day threes, okay? Day three, okay? And most day threes, are actually gonna be uh, reversals however there are times when uh, the day three will actually be a continuation okay okay day threes ca most of them are gonna be reversals however there are times when you'll find like continuations on day threes okay you must understand this and uh, I'm gonna try to simplify as much as I can on this uh, two subjects, okay? Let me just try to erase this, uh, this, uh, this, comp uh, okay, this, uh, okay. So guys, I hope you understand. On this channel, we look at day two continuations, which are the most easiest trades, okay? And then we also look at day three. Most day threes are going to be reversal. However, there are days when they will be continuations. Okay. So I'm going to explain more about this. I've already explained, but I'll try to just uh, go a little bit deeper. Okay. Let's start with day two continuations. Okay. Let's say prices go down day one. Okay. Prices go down day two. Okay. And then prices go down the third day let's just uh okay let's just say prices go down the fourth day okay okay so here what we have we have one two three four we have four days of prices going down okay and as they are going down there's something important you should note they are opening high okay they are opening high and closing low 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 let's say uh on the fifth day it could be any day okay uh let's say on the fifth day they open here and they close here okay so now 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 what are we anticipating this is a nice sign that prices are more likely to reverse okay what are we looking for the next day we are looking for a dump, okay, to pump. The minimum target is this one because if this shows that prices are more likely to change directions, then this is the play. This is the first point that has to be hit, if indeed there is a change in directions. Because why? Because actually, uh, for a downtrend to happen, it's actually breaking lows, breaking lows, breaking lows. Okay, so. If uh, we have been in a in a downtrend and now we are talking about changes in direction, now we are all, we are actually looking at an uptrend. And for it to be an uptrend, it must first break at least this point. Okay, so this is the minimum target. And here's the reason: if you draw a box here, okay, when they dump, this actually shows you that everybody going down is now trapped. Guys, guys, it's important to understand who is trapped because when we have traders trapped, they are going to go away to punish them. OK, that's where we get our opportunity. OK, S but I believe you have also realized that there are days when they don't dump like this. You talked about this in the previous video, but let me just go a little bit deeper. OK, there are days when here they'll just give you something like a creeping trend. OK maybe starting from asia and then all the way to london okay and then when the equity time of london starts they blow off okay and uh let me just start by explaining a creeping trend for those who are not uh here when i did my previous video guys a creeping trend is something like this okay this is a creeping trend this is a creeping trend 
this is a creeping trend uh, okay let me just try to redraw it in a way that all of you will actually understand okay uh, this is a creeping trend guys this is a creeping trend okay and the main idea for a creeping trend is that it makes a high and then it trades back into the high as you can see it makes a high and then it trades back into the high as you can see and then it makes a high and then finally let's just say this is the last high and then it explodes okay so this is how you real re you recognize a creeping trend it makes a high it trades back to the high it makes a high it trades back into the high and then the final one the low will be just above the high or it can touch or it can pin but it's not gonna go deeper in into 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 the high just like here this is the high but it went deeper into the high okay this is a creeping trend and then we also spoke about another trend which is actually a a blow of trend a blow of trend is a creeping trend okay which you can identify using two or three trend lines like this i just want to show you and then the last leg will be like something like this this is a blow off guys once you see something like this you can enter right here okay because this low doesn't go into this high whereas this high traded back this low as you can see it's now inside the high okay so this is identifiable by using two trend lines okay it trends 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 and then it moves to a higher level where it trends 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 as you can see these two trend lines are not joined this is a trend line on a higher level this is a trend line on a lower level okay i hope you understand i don't even know if i'm audible enough because it's already late and i don't want to be making a uh, uh, unnecessary noise and just to give you another example this is a normal trend okay a normal trend you can see there is space here and space here and then again when it makes its other low you can see there is space all the space is where prices are just shooting out shooting up okay so the same applies on the downside okay you can just draw this quickly or you can just pause and draw it and then uh, try to speak it out so that you understand it so as you can see here this is a creeping trend it makes a high and then trades back into the high okay let me say i didn't draw it well but it's fine because you already understand the main concept okay it makes a high and then it trades back into the high and the final high is just above this the final low is actually just above this high and then it blows off okay so this is the second scenario of a day two continuation but uh, at this time i know that all of you have mastered the one that actually comes and dumps for a pump which is the most profitable one and it's the most common one okay so i'm gonna draw the third scenario here for you okay uh the third scenario is actually where they can give uh, maybe a creeping trend creeping trend they blow off during london and right before the u.s session starts what do they do they start coming down coming down coming down and let's say this was the law of london okay this and this was the law of asia so this is the law of london this is the law of asia so they just come back and they stop hunt people from where from london when they do this they are closing those who are profit from london at the same time they are sending people down and already there are people trapped from asia right so they might just come back and blow off at least back to this high okay so this is another form of a day two continuation where during the u.s session they will blow off to the high so guys i've given you three scenarios of day two continuations three scenarios of day two continuation just go and uh, actually start the video again from where i gave the first scenario and then screenshot it take screenshot the second scenario and then again screenshot the third scenario because these are the scenarios that you are going to see on day two continuations today i want to talk about something um, amazing okay let me show you something else guys i'm uh, i'm sorry if i'm introducing some 
things that are new to you oh uh, i'm really sorry okay it's just that uh if you're a trader there's a lot of things you have to actually take into perspective before uh, okay before complaining that trading is hard so today i want to talk about something let me just uh do this okay because you're gonna see this uh a lot okay uh okay let's just do this this is a line here let me go and take another line because i don't want to duplicate it i want to be fast okay so this is another line okay and this is another line okay and this is another line guys please bear with me okay because i'm trying my best to show you things that will actually help you okay i believe by now you've heard me saying an inside day after a rally is is actually a blessing of free money okay uh so here here it is guys here it is let's say prices have been going down for a number of days okay we all know that this is important okay and all of a sudden uh they change direction they give a, a green day okay this is a green day and let's say uh yes they dump to to pump and they close here okay and then uh this is day one okay this is day one this becomes a day two right and then let's say on a day two uh they give an inside day an inside day that closes here this inside day is a huge huge blessings sometimes it's gonna be maybe after it has gone three days four days but uh you'll see it uh, more common uh where it has gone day one day two and then it gives an inside day okay so the following day they might just uh okay this is an inside day the following day they might just uh come and tap just enough to close everybody from an inside day because we know that an inside day traps volume above and traps volume below so they might do this and then they might blow off okay this is quite common or else after the inside day like this they might just give you a a creeping trend and blow off blow off and then close again as a red day this is quite common it can happen it can happen so if you see an inside day after prices have gone two days mostly these two days are gonna be like um big big explosive days big explosive days you might find that only these two days have gone 300 pips 300 pips or plus 300 pips or plus 250 pips or maybe plus 150 pips for currencies okay you're gonna see this quite often please take a screenshot of this because i just want to erase and then write uh, something again here for those who are new i know this drawings might not make sense to you you might have to see the previous videos in order to actually understand uh, the drawings that i use and then again we might find that prices have gone down guys oh, also note that i'm using one direction because i don't want to say okay i use uh the direction where prices went down i can also use where prices went up to give a downtrend but you just flip the tables okay I don't want to take too much time on this and this is the most important video you can ever watch okay so let's say on this day okay they give a green day so this is basically day one right and then let's just say they give a an inside day like this this is just an inside day an inside day let's say prices have really been dropping for quite some time now and then they give a green day followed by an inside day this inside day is just helping them to trap more volume so the following day what you can expect is you can expect them just to come because inside days as we said trap volume up and down you can expect them to just come and tap and then explode since a lot of uh traders are already trapped down here or else if they don't do this they will rather give something like a creeping trend creeping trend 
and then they blow off okay so these are some of the things you have to look you have to look for okay an inside day an inside day after a green day is a, is a sign that prices are more likely to continue in the direction and an inside day after a big rally by big rally i mean say on the first day they move maybe 150 pips the second day they move 180 pips obviously that's a big blow off okay so if they give an inside day that's an inside day after a huge rally it's a blessing or a sign of free cash because it's a sign that okay prices are more likely to reverse the main idea for all this thing is trapped volume okay so i hope you understand what i've been explaining to you with uh, the day two continuations i hope you understand this because this is highly highly important and you're gonna be see this most of the time and now let's just touch the day threes a little bit let's just touch the day threes because i believe there are many people who think uh these are just counter trades and the moment it hits day three they want to actually be uh taking the opposite direction see this is a day two and then it closes here and this is a day three they come during asia they make a high london they come they make a high and uh, us they take these two highs out guys you can see that now they are sending traders up this is a trap then you wait for that small pump for a dump okay this is a proper day three or else let's look at this or else or else or else okay let's just see okay the pump give a nice day two or else they might give you an inside day somewhere here right and then the following day they might just come and tap above here already this inside day has trapped volume both sides okay and then they try to send people up they give a three session setup then they collapse so these are the most important things if you're gonna be taking day three reversal you must understand something which is actually trapped volume if we don't have trapped traders there's no need for you to actually counter trend okay because sometimes they'll do like this they will dump and then they will pump obviously you can't counter trend this kind of a move okay because they dumped and now they are pumping sometimes they will do something like this they will actually uh give and uh maybe give a creeping trend explode okay and right before the end of the gap period in 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 in, in london they start coming down 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 and then they come and stop hunt people from london and then they start reversing guys obviously this is a blow off okay you don't want to be counter trending moves like this okay so if you're going to be taking a day three reversal make sure that you understand that we have trap traders if you don't understand where trap traders are then don't take it because i don't want you to actually be counter trenders okay that's why i used an example whereby i explained something like uh bull killer zone and bear snake pit okay the bull killer zone is where they trap volume that's the most important thing to identify if you are taking day three reversals okay because sometimes day threes will explode if there are no trap traders because obviously if they are dumping then okay let's just say okay day one day two they dump for a pump which is a good setup and then day three again they dump for a pump this is sending traders down this is sending traders down okay so you must understand that this is not a good setup for a day three reversal so guys i think now we got this out of the way i explained a lot of things okay i believe each and every uh each and everything i explained here deserves its own video but it's okay just pause and try to understand because that's the most important thing uh, for you to understand okay uh okay 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 guys for those who are new we use one hour time frame to do our day count okay and there are important things we have to do each and every week you do this on saturdays or on sundays we spoke about marking out levels this is the high 
okay i just want to show you how simple trading is if you really really willing to be a trader okay this is the high why because it's the high of last week as you can see this separates the week okay this separates the week you have to identify the high of the previous week and the low of the previous week as you can see this low is lower than this one okay this is the low of the previous week i'm not gonna go through last week because honestly there's just been amazing setups and then as you can see i have the high i have the low and i have the closing price of the previous day so we're gonna come to the previous week as you can see and draw a line over here okay this is not just a line guys uh mostly for those who are new on this channel okay this line over here if you look at it uh, i'm pulling the wrong line guys okay i'm pulling the weekly separator okay you see here this dotted line over here it's the closing price of the previous friday we just pull this line and put it over it okay and i know that people who are not gonna do this and they're gonna come and say we can't see these things and yes obviously you can't see them because you're not putting in the work okay and if you're not putting in the work you can't expect to be a good trader okay because these lines are very important and we will explain how you see this is the closing price of last friday hence we have this blue dotted dotted lines here okay and i will do it like this for me uh i used to label these levels but i no longer do that because i know the colors that i've used for each and every uh level so guys these are the most important level for those who are new now let's blow this a little bit this is gold right this is gold right gold went up the first day it went up the second day i've already explained this it went close to 500 pips this is 490 pips which is almost equivalent to 500 pips this is a very big blow off right so it was followed by an inside day guys this is the most important thing that i've just uh okay this is something i've just spoke about a few minutes ago if you get an inside day after a blow off expect free money okay okay because now i told you what they're gonna do i told you they might come and close here then dump or else they might give you a creeping trend when you go to a smaller time frame you will see this as a creeping trend okay you'll see this as a creeping trend okay so let's continue let's continue because gold guys is amazing and i told you that gold I is the is one of the pairs that will give you multiple trades maybe three to four trades each and every week currencies uh at maximum might give you two trades per week i mean per currency you might get two trades a week okay i mean good trades because we are not trying to force moves we are not trying to take trades that are not ready okay and uh i know that people will say master one currency for me that's not important because i work by setups and if there are no setups on the currency that you're trading say for instance you're trading gj alone and you find that okay you don't have a good setup maybe it's just consolidating for four days what are you gonna do you're gonna force it to give you trades and that's where it's gonna chow you like nobody's business so when you're focusing on multiple uh, pairs you know that okay today on two pairs i might get a free uh, first green day maybe on one i'll get a first green day on another one i'll get a red day so you know you are only waiting for you have maybe two possible trades of continuation the next day and maybe one of them will behave in a good way the other one won't behave in a good way then you know you have one good trade okay the following day maybe three uh you have three setups and then out of the three two uh, behaves in a, in a in a good way you know you have uh two setups you can take one or you can take two it's up to you okay so just be disciplined and let me tell you something that is highly highly important please write this down if you have to guess directions you are probably in the wrong trade okay if you ever find yourself confused not knowing what this pay is gonna do you are 
on the wrong pair. And I'm not saying each and every day you know what the pair is going to do. No, at least you have a thesis that has to be proven correct or wrong. You come to the charts with a hypothesis. Prices are going to continue today. If they don't continue or if they don't give you a setup for a continuation, you do nothing. Okay. So this was day one. Okay. Okay. This was day one. Okay. You see, you see, I'm not going to talk about the entries. I'm going to, I'm just talking about the opportunities here and the setups because if I go deeper into the entries, this video is going to be crazily long. Okay. And it's going to be hard to follow. Okay. I just want to explain a couple of things that I have been explaining in the first video. Okay. So you see here what happened. Creeping trend, creeping trend, creeping trend, creeping trend. Okay. London opens. They, 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 they retrace collapse. US opens, news happen, and then you see they still collapse. This closes as, th as, as, as a green day, which is day one. The following day, what are we expecting? We are expecting a continuation. In this case, what did they do? A smaller time frame, you'll find a creeping trend. They went down. Okay. Yes, already they have gone down. Okay. Because I'm not expecting people to be trading the Asian session. They have gone down. But look at what they do. They trade back, trade back. They come and close everybody from London here. And then they continue down. Okay. You're going to see this much more often and i just drew it for you if you go back to where we were actually drawing i did draw this uh for you guys let me just uh try to re-explain it quite quick right here okay let's say we got a red day today okay prices have just been exploding and then on this day say for instance we got a red day this is a red day okay this is a red day what ca what color is your candle it's red and then the following day they maybe give a creeping trend they explode okay and this is the low of london this is uh, it's the high of london this is the high of asia I if they come back during us and stop hunt people from london which is more common they are more likely to just collapse okay I showed you this trade. I took it, but I took it to here. Okay. Because I took it in the London session. But anyway, if you see this, this is a very good setup where they give her a day, they break, then they come and stop hunt people from one of the sessions and they send others up. Okay. When others are still expecting that the move is going up, they collapse because they leave money here. And this market is already is, is already broken down. So there is no need to actually counter trend. Okay. Do not counter trend. Okay. More especially day two continuations. Don't counter trend them. Okay. Don't counter trend them. Okay. So I hope you understand what we have just said right now. Okay. So as you can see, they exploded day one. They gave it day two. Same. They broke through it. Then they come and stop hunted prior US session. And then they just collapsed. Okay. And uh yesterday I took this trade. I I did take this trade here. I showed you when I took it. Actually, I took this one here. This one here 50 pips here. Okay? Because I was already trading in line with the direction. I don't count on trend day two continuations. Day two continuations for me are not to be counter trended, okay? Unless you have uh uh you are more advanced in trading. That's when you'll understand uh when to counter trend. But I don't recommend counter trending day twos. Okay. So this was literally day two. Okay. Uh, um, fortunately, this video is becoming a little bit longer. Okay. This day is day two. Okay. Day two continuation. What does it do? I told you, draw out your lines. Now you have to understand one thing. We have broken this level, which is last week's low. Okay, this is a significant level. Okay, you won't know it because you don't draw it. I don't even know why you don't even draw it, but you're complaining that you are not becoming consistent. But you don't want to draw your levels. Guys, always draw out your levels. Okay, do this when you're analyzing your charts because these levels will help you. They've broken the law. Once they've broken the law, I will be cautious if I'm going to be taking the trade because they've broken the level. Okay, so it's fine. 
they trade down and then they close here so on this day on this day they gave us a creeping trend okay what did i say creeping trend was a creeping trend is a trend whereby they actually make a high and they trade into the high okay okay oh sorry sorry for my okay guys i really really don't enjoy annoying you okay it's just that i'm used to it but i'm sorry i'm literally trying to get rid of them you see they make another high and they do what they trade into it let me go to a smaller time frame okay let me go to a smaller time frame where i can show you this uh because i took this trade yesterday and i closed it somewhere here for 100 pips and uh there was one person who said uh, i should explain it well i don't have a problem with that but again 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 i'll show you i'll show you something in a moment that is interesting you see they give a creeping trend creeping trend creeping trend they trade back into it i didn't wait for them to come to this level whereby uh, they are making a low just above this high this was enough for me to take this trade this was enough for me to take the trade i want to show you all what okay the move is broken down right the i mean the move is broken up they gave a creeping trend this simply means they are trapping traders below so once you get a creeping trend one thing you should understand is that they are trapping traders below i used to blow my account on this why because every time they go higher you think now they've stopped hunted they're gonna reverse now they've stopped hunted they're gonna reverse whereas they are just trapping people going down because p remember it's after a huge blow off <coughs> sort of for that it's after a huge blow off right so they are trapping traders down for me when they give this a uh, creeping trend and they come and stop hunted everybody from the london session i knew it was time for me to enter into the market this was a perfect stop hunted accompanied by the news as you can see this was a perfect 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 stop hunt now let me go to a one minute chart because i told you when there is news i do what i always go to a one minute chart right if you are on a one minute chart you can see they may you see this is a stop hunt no questions this is a stop hunt after a creeping trend after a creeping trend this stop hunt is still part of a creeping trend by the way anyway let's just fill this uh, with another color this is a stop hunt it has stop hunted people from london from a move that has been trapping traders low they left the people from asia what do they do they come and make a high Oh, this is interesting this is interesting then they come and make a double bottom first bottom double bottom you see what i'm talking about then they come and make a third a third a third 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 leg after closing this one we already spoke about this behavior which is quite common in gold then they give a rarer track fine they go they pull down and they engulf this is where i actually entered my trade somewhere here okay somewhere around here yes my trade was taken somewhere around here and my stop loss was just 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 below just below not below the pin but below the last low why because when you draw a box like this you can see that oh they are sending everybody down in a move where they are giving you a creeping trend which is highly highly important okay so this move just went up and up and up and i closed it very late because uh in my mind i was thinking that oh this move will go back to the high of the previous day that was what i was thinking that this move will go to the high of the previous day i would have held on this move because my target was here okay my target was here but i thought yesterday was friday i lost count of days okay i went out this week and uh because uh there's something we usually do on friday and uh there was a change of plans and we had to do it on a 
on, 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 on Thursday. So that really messed up with my mind. And I thought, oh, today was Friday. That's why you saw in the community, I posted this trade and I said, what a, be what a blessed Friday. So that's the reason I closed it late because obviously I don't want to hold trades past Friday into Monday because mon uh, uh, Mondays, they're either open with a huge gap. And imagine if that it's, it's gold can open with 160 pip gap. And imagine what happens if that gap goes against you. Obviously, you're going to lose a lot, right? Or they can just pin down. They can do what they want. So I thought it was a Friday, okay? And then I closed. And then uh, I saw it late because I backtested throughout the night. And I saw late that, oh, no, it wasn't actually f uh, Friday. It was Thursday. So I could have held it. And it would have uh, given me my uh my 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 target which was roughly 170 something pips if i'm not mistaken yes it was 190 uh, 197 pips somewhere no 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 it was 197 pips i don't remember yeah but it was uh s no actually my target wasn't the high my target was here yeah, was yes yes i remember it was 197 pips 197 yeah, 190, yeah, it was 190 something, 197 pips. My target was right here, which was hit in Vanan, but it's okay. No worries with that. But let me show you something fascinating again. Do you see a huge blow off, a huge blow off, then an inside day? You see this? That's why I explain this an inside day after a huge blow off is a blessing you see it here they give an inside day after a huge blow off which became a very nice blessing and then again they yesterday closed as an inside day remember i always say there's no coincidence in the market everything is planned out well right that's what i always say everything is planned out well so if it closes as an inside day, there's a reason why it closed as an inside day. And this was not just an inside day, it was, it was actually a first green day, okay? And then prices exploded for the continuation. And then, yeah, obviously uh, today, prior, I think it was half past, uh, half past three. Yes, this candle here gave a fantastic opportunity, okay? But I didn't take it because I was... I wasn't actually willing to count a trend, but it was a good opportunity for roughly 80 pips, uh, roughly 80 pips because yes, this, uh, yes, this was the first target they were actually targeting. But again, as I said, sometimes they blow off, blow off, blow off. And I took it, uh, I took it somewhere here. I took it, uh, okay. I took it, I took it right here, right here. When uh, on a one minute, when it closed, it gave a nice engulf that closed inside. Uh, and it closed me. It closed me. But it's okay. It's okay. It hit me today. Uh, I took it on this candle right here. Okay. Yes, I took it. And my stops were roughly 20 pips. And I was closed by this one here. Okay. Because I was actually anticipating that uh, they will go and take out this guy's these guys because these guys were in profit and obviously these guys here chased this candle because of the news as they were trapping here i took it somewhere here and yes it closed me okay but i don't have a problem with that because my main idea was oh they are more likely firstly they will come and take these guys out okay that was my main idea they haven't reached them and then secondly i was expecting them to at least come and take these guys out so uh, for me, I was expecting a nice 50 pips, of which they went 30 something, because my target was 50, but they went 30 something and came back and closed me. Okay, I didn't really focus on it, and I really hate trailing my stops to break even these days. Why? Because I know that they will come to scare you out, and they will actually go into your direction. Actually, to be honest, I've actually felt more pain. I've already said this. Uh, one of the things in trading that has given me more pain than any other thing is actually trailing stops. Sometimes, yes, of course, I would enter here. 
you see this is an engulf it has been trapping 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 obviously these guys are trapped hence they didn't even come and take these guys out because they're already trapped okay so i saw them trapping okay and if you look carefully you will see you see this was uh, a very beautiful triangle you see that's why i took it when it broke and besides it closed inside the ema so guys uh let me just tell you something because i love honesty you see if i trail my stops to here most of the time this gives me the most of pain why because honestly we know that these guys are trapped right so they will go and go and go maybe 30 pips and then they come back come back and they close these guys who trail their stops to uh to this candle okay so this has given me more pain every time i've trailed my stops i have felt the biggest pain because uh, they will literally come and close me and then go maybe to my target sometimes 100 pips sometimes 200 pips so i then came to a decision that i will no longer trail my stops until they hit my first take profit when they hit my first take profit i want them to pull back into it okay obviously if i open multiple positions the first one has taken okay so i want them uh, to come and close into the pose into the position that's remaining then blow off then i will trail my stop to the recent pullback but in when it's like this honestly i wouldn't advise uh, towards actually trading stop because when you take a trade you must be uh, willing to lose that amount of money that's uh, actually the price you pay to know if you are wrong or right and if the trade goes maybe 20 to 30 pips i've had many people saying if a trade goes 20 pip and you lose then you don't know how to trade but personally i've held i've felt more pain by trailing stops they always come and close these guys because they'll always come and scare you out of a winning trade anyway okay so they know where people are trailing their stops too okay they'll come and hit it then go in your direction and then you'll feel pain so don't be like me and learn the hard way so these days they'll rather come and close me it's fine i don't worry rather than them coming and closing me then going in my direction okay so guys i took this trade and it closed me okay uh, unfortunately today there's just a lot that happened there's a lot that happened as i told you i would explain uh, the psychology behind this where on day two they explode come back stop hunt people from london and then they just continue to the high so this was my thesis of which wasn't really disapproved just that okay they closed me because my stops were not tight enough had i put my stops below which is what i do most of the time it's just that this was a little bit too big i put them below okay so had i put them here below here it's just that this was big and you can't take something big like this it was uh roughly i would have okay i should i would have had to put them 30 so this was something really big i'm almost willing to put them 25 I will still be in this trade and it will I will be profitable by now okay by now I would be really profitable roughly 40 pips as you can see okay but anyway it is what it is okay now let's move on guys uh there's just a lot that has been happening uh sorry the video is long because I'm actually explaining a lot of details let me take this one two threes out because this helps me manage my trade okay guys as you can see this is nasdaq and already i have my levels when i do my videos i just want to take these levels out why because uh drawing them in when you, you are all watching is just good okay so as you can see uh this is nasdaq it came down then it gave uh it gave a first green day yesterday okay because this one closed here and opened low it was a first trade day then followed by a first green day and uh just as we have explained today they pumped in they just pumped pumped the pumped this is not uh really a creeping trend because they didn't really come in but as you can see they were just going up and up and up and up and then they came down not enough to take people out from london and then they just exploded up okay so this one for me uh i didn't take this one okay I didn't take this one but yeah i'm not gonna talk much about it but uh as you can see it gave a first green day followed by followed by a a first 
it gave a first red day followed by a green day and then today it gave a nice continuation for those who got it well done okay this is where we spoke about day threes being uh, continuation days okay which not all of the days are gonna give this but yeah okay and then I, I took a beautiful trade on, on oil today. I don't want to lie. I took a beautiful trade on oil today. Okay. I took a beautiful. Let's just draw the levels quite quick. Guys, I'm sorry. Uh, for those who are staying uh, till now, thank you. And I wish you are getting the best value that is actually meant to make you better. Because I know most people don't stay. Uh when the videos are too long but i've tried short videos and i always leave important details out okay that's why uh i have to explain like day twos and then pull back then okay and then come in another video explain the the creeping trend and all sort of stuff but if people are comfortable to a long video i could have just uh shared a lot of things in one video okay okay guys uh i told you this is the previous day okay fine you just need these levels okay and make sure to draw them maybe on sundays saturdays sundays are for god i don't really love working and i don't prefer working on sundays because the bible says god rested and yeah uh following the rules and principles of god is actually good okay so uh as you can see today this one i loved it guys i loved it this one gave a first green day okay this is day one we all know that okay green days are day one okay this gave a nice uh day one let me just blow it this gave a nice day one right and it gave a day two which was beautiful okay which was beautiful i'm just getting exhausted -ish. I'm feeling exhausted right now, but let me just uh, work through this video because already it's late guys. It's it's 12 p.m. Okay, so I just want to finish right here and rest. Okay, guys, uh, as you can see, it gave a first green day on Wednesday. Okay. After, of course, day one, day two, this to me is an inside day because they were just pinning. Okay, if I have to guess, I'm not going to guess. And remember, I always say nothing happens by coincidence when it comes to the market everything is well planned and well executed so the fact that they are just pinning and no candle literally opens and closes above is something they do intentionally so if i have to guess i don't want to be guessing so i will use the next day to do my day count okay so day one day two inside day day three fine i know many will argue what is an inside day what is an inside day remember guys uh they're not going to give you something perfect as you want it to be. At some point, you will have to make decision based on what you know. Okay. So this is day one. This is day two. This is day three. You see, they send people up. They send people up. They send people up. This is a perfect three session setup. Let me go to a, I took this trade. Let me go. You see, let me go to a smaller time frame. This is the high that was made in Asia. This is a perfect three session setup, okay? I know we have talked about this and I'm glad because most of you already know these things and you are doing great and you are excelling in these things and I'm happy, guys. Uh, for those who are struggling, try tracking trades with the best setup when they are presented, okay? Okay? Wait for your setup. You see, this is the first session. They come, give a second session when 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 the u.s session opens who is in profit they've just taken out the low good now they go for the high guys let me tell you something that helps me you know when the u.s opened here i was watching the charts okay i always draw to see who is in profit and i tell myself okay i want to know when prices get here you know what i do i will set an alert okay i will set an alert I will set an alert right here okay as i showed you i just come here trading and then i say alert okay immediately when prices break this level i will be alerted and i know all the pairs that i've selected for the day 
So for me, it's not a hassle. Say, for instance, if I've selected three pairs, okay, for the session, when the alert rings, I know it's one of three currencies or it's one of three pairs, okay? So what I do is I just come and observe, okay? I just come and observe, okay? Let me show you. Uh, I usually, I take this ones on, 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 usually on a one minute time frame, okay? Let me show you. Let me show you what I do. The moment it breaks, I don't want to be in a trade immediately when it breaks, okay? I don't want to be in a trade when it breaks because I don't want to catch the high. I want to catch after the higher, after the first higher high, I mean lower high. Why? Because when you get a lower high, already you know that the market is broken into the direction that you are expecting. So when you get a lower high followed by an engulf, it's the best trade you can take. So obviously, I saw this engulf, which was good. And then what did I do? I wait for it to come down. Okay. I wait for it to come down. As it's going up, I set an alert at one of these candles. You see, when this second candle opens, I set an alert here. Okay. When I set an alert, I'm looking at all my charts, but I don't want to miss trades. When this uh, candle is going up, I have an alert here. The moment, you see, I have an alert right here. Obviously, if I set an alert when this candle is going up, this alert is going to be triggered when now the prices are going down. Why? Because obviously, I want them to pull to the top, then collapse, okay? So when this engulf right here printed, that's where I took my trade, okay? That's where I took my trade. And I don't really care where I put my stops as long as they are within an acceptable level for me. I have my stops. I have my entry. Okay. And my first target is who is in the pro who is in the money. Obviously, when the US opened, it stopped hunted. Oh, I will show you something quite quick. Okay. Guys, I just hope you take this things and run away with it because this is easy money. Okay. Easy, easy, easy money. Okay. You see, this is the law of London, okay? When the US opened, they made their own law, okay? And who was in profit? These guys were in profit. Remember, it's a day three, day three. And this was a perfect setup as I showed you. They made something like a triple top, okay? When they took these guys out, when they took these guys out, my first take profit is here, okay? This is my first take profit. And I'm gonna lock it. As the move is going, I lock my first position and allow the next position to go. Whenever it makes a high high, I trail my stops. High high, I trail my stops. I just follow with it. Or else, I just leave my stops. Okay? I just leave my trailer to run. Okay? And trail all my stops to my uh, my first take to profit. That's why I told you I don't want to trail stops immediately. I want to trail stops once my take profit has hit. And if it's still going down, yes, I'll bring all my stops to here or to here, okay? And then obviously, it will take me down if it's going back. So that's my process. That's how I do things. So this one was hit very quickly, very nice, and it was one of the best trades. And I'm grateful I took this one, okay? And here's the last. Guys, there were many setups. I just don't want to go through all these setups. But, uh, guys, this is perfect. Perfect. You see? You see, day one, prices are going up. All of a sudden, they open high, they close low. How do you know they close low? Obviously, this is the close of the previous day. Okay, Th this is the close of the previous day. The prices opened here and closed here. This is day one. They make an inside day here. They squeeze, make another inside day. They give it day two. They give it day three. And this is beautiful because now I know who is trapped, okay? Then they give a first... They gave a first, uh, first green day, okay? Guys, this is not simple when you know what you're looking for, okay? When you know what you're looking for, this week was just perfect. This week was just perfect in many ways. But don't think you missed. Every week will be perfect. It's just that sometimes you have to always be on the watch for these beautiful trades and stop taking things that are not ready. Stop forcing trades. Focus only on one setup, okay? One of the reasons people are struggling is because they've been learning a lot of things that 
that don't even match neither align okay when i started trading i only followed people who were actually following the same setups that i was interested in there are many people bolander bets i never did bolander bands in my life i don't want to lie to you i don't even know what is a bolander band okay yes in my first video where i learned about them but i can't tell you what a bolander band is i can't tell you what volume is i don't use those things okay if you are using them fine i don't I, if you understand them it's okay but there's a person who uses bolander bands tdi uh what elliot waves yo people are using a lot of stuff and people have literally 30 30 uh, strategies they are looking at guys until you decide to look only at one setup or maybe two setups i've been in the game for quite a long time now but i'm still focusing only on two setups two setups despite uh the time that i've been in the market or trading i'm just trading two setups okay because it took me way too long trying to understand what is this what is this until i decided to master one setup guys master one setup i repeat go and focus only on one setup or at least two setups the setup we talk about on this video are very very simple i told you day two is my favorite but day three is my most profitable one because day three when it goes it goes okay and i'm talking about day one day two day three that's what i'm talking about okay so guys this made a face green day it dumped pumped but this for many was missed because this is an indice what did we say i gave you an example where they blow off and then the u.s session does just this it will always do justice why because most people get to chase these moves okay when the u.s session opened they stop hunted here some people will think oh but they didn't stop hunt everybody from u.s obviously they did people enter after pull bags and engulfs and they've been taken out and obviously if you were in a profit from here and you saw this move coming down like this you jumped out of the trade okay okay so what did i say what did i say i don't counter trend day twos i don't counter trend day twos once i see this I go to a smaller time frame always do i always go to you see they make a low they come they make a low they make a low they go they go they come down in golf beautiful 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 trade beautiful trade beautiful trade even for someone who took maybe here as you can see this is a dump this is a pump who took it here it's a beautiful trade but this is the first thing of it becomes one two three four four candles okay your stop is just below okay your stop is below your first target is obvious because your your, your 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 first target is obvious you see here if you're on a five minute time frame this was your entry candle okay and i love uh, going to a smaller time frame for entries okay and the first target is here even if you exited here it's okay if you held it's okay you see there were just too many opportunities too many opportunities okay too many you just have to choose which opportunity you're looking for day one day two day three inside day after a huge blow off it's equals to free free money what do they do right prior let's go to the way news when there are news you know what to do guys you go to a one minute time frame okay some people say one minute time frame is hard uh honestly it might be hard but it's gonna give you the best entry when there is news okay you see these are news now they are creeping 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 pump dump engulf pump dump engulf pump dump engulf age and any pump dump engulf you took after here was just a blessing okay was a blessing for easy 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 trade that is going down don't think just because they are doing this they are gonna go back no they are not going back it's day three okay so guys uh i don't want to talk about all the setups that happened but guys please go and focus on a setup that makes sense to you on this channel i focus only on two setups for a reason it's easy to master 
and you know what you're looking for it's not confusing okay anyway guys if you are part of the family comment share and like if you are new subscribe i wish you all the best and a happy weekend